Hello fellow summoners and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going through the John Mulaney Champion Challenge. Um, this was actually, I really like this one. It was pretty tough overall. It starts off relatively easy but then it progresses up, obviously depending on the roster that you have. Um, so the, the, the champions that I chose to bring in here, as you can tell, are Black Widow, Clairvoyant, uh, Corvus, Warlock, Archangel, and then Nick Fury. Um, <clears throat> And the main the main roles of each of them were to fight certain characters. Obviously, um, the Black Widow was my Howard the Duck uh, counter. Just got rid of the Rage Node. It really didn't matter a whole lot because she could just be she's you know made him buff immune. The Archangel was my number one Gwyn Gwynpool go to, um, just with the constant neurotoxins. Um, and then obviously, as you see here, I'm using Corvus against Warlock, and I chose to use Warlock except for this first one. I used Warlock against every single one of the Deadpool's. Um, it just allowed me to uh, cancel out all his healing. It wasn't a, you know, there was no worry there. Um, and then, you know, could power drain him too, so you didn't have any issues there. And then again, bringing Corvus for the Mysterio. Um, basically just wanted to burst him out before there's any other problems and uh, kind of get through it as quick as possible. So I'm only going to do the, like the first two paths here on video, then we're going to cut ahead to a couple other moments that I, that I, either confused me or I thought were kind of funny um, and go from there. So uh, now that everyone's ramped up the way I want them to be, Black Widow Clairvoyant is great for this fight. I used the Incinerate for the special twos unless I needed the healing, uh, then switched over to the bleed, kind of try to finish off the fight using a bleed SB2 um, just to get as much health as possible. I decided to go ahead and use Nick Fury for this Gwynpool because I was like, man, if I'm going to use him, I might as well, if he dies, he dies, he might as well die early so I get the boost to everyone else. And man, I played horrible. Um, <laughs> so there wasn't, um, there wasn't much of an issue there. I was just playing really bad. Um, luckily, she didn't fire a special three there and I was able to cruise on through and get that handled. So anyways, the um, the biggest problem with the Gwynpool is the fact that she's got Bane, but also the power shield on her can make her pretty annoying. So it's good to have someone with you that is going to do uh, some type of damage over time. I just chose Archangel. I thought he was the best overall option for that fight. Um, moved on to Warlock. Um, Warlock gains a lot of armor. So Corvus is another great counter for him because he's constantly taking off all the armor from the multiple buffs that he has on the um, on that node. Um, and then Deadpool. Uh, Deadpool. The only thing you gotta really watch out for is at fifty percent he gains that um, he gains a big burst of power. Um, so you want to just make sure that you have them, you know, under two bars. Just make sure that you're aware of that coming up. Uh, Warlock again doesn't really matter because as long as he's healing, uh, you're going to be taking the power away from him. And so um, I just thought that Warlock was one of the greatest chances for this. And you notice right here, I'm healing. I have no idea why. I it was probably part of the node somewhere. I'm just not entirely sure why I why I healed. Um, so if anybody knows why Warlock was healing there uh, during that Deadpool fight, let me know. It happened on two different paths, I think, and then it stopped happening. So, um, and uh, Mysterio again, um, he's, and I kind of skipped ahead as you see in the video, but uh, Mysterio again is uh, relatively easy to counter by Corvus. I just suck at fighting him. Um, so you'll see a couple deaths coming up uh, from that. So uh, all in all, this whole this whole uh, quest took me eight revives. Um, part of that was because I played horrible, and part of that was just because um, I, I, you know, I suck at this game sometimes. <laughs> so um, Warlock and Mysterio are the ones that really took my health uh, most of the time. Uh, Gwynpool, I died one time too. You see, it's going to come up right now. I couldn't get the Bane transfer to her, and then by the time I finally did, I, you know, I, I had to push her to special three. So for my first revive here on Gwynpool. Uh, have a little bit better run at her in the final section, so it all worked out. Um, this Warlock, I don't think, this is not the one where I had an issue with him, but it, it's crazy how progressively more health each one has, and so it's constantly going up and up and up. Um, yeah, this is the one, because I burned my charges. I wasn't paying attention, and I was doing a medium light, I wasn't doing my medium light medium. I didn't realize how much more health he had at this point. And then right here, boom, just instantly just get wrecked. <laughs> Give you guys a nice little replay, slow-mo of me just getting absolutely hammered by a heavy right off the bat. Um, missed my parry and then he just punished me super hard with a heavy that I just did not evade. So that was, there was a revive spent that definitely was a, um, a wasted revive uh, after I, you know, misplayed it by burning um, all my charges from using my light attacks instead of doing medium light medium combo because I didn't realize how much more health he had at this time and I wasn't going to be able to one cycle him. So again, here we are, Deadpool healed up again. Again, I don't fully understand why. It's probably part of the nodes. I need to go back and read them, uh, see if there's something there that Warlock was healing off of. 
Um, Mysterio, he this dude loves to throw heavy attacks, and it really throws me off. Uh, I just for some reason his heavies punish me all the time. I just got hit there by one, um, and then just I think I go down to this Mysterio again. Yep, and then um, I was trying to debate whether I wanted to keep healing or reviving, so I decided to revive one more time, go in there, uh, finish off this Mysterio. I'm like, man, let's just get to this, get to this final path, and let's handle this, handle some business, get this thing done, and. Um, my boost is starting to wear off, and I just wanted to be done with this quest. Um, doing the same fights over and over gets super repetitive. Again, Black Widow was like an MVP, especially for Howard the Duck. Uh, I love this champ. I really cannot wait until I get um, finish up a mutant or a Mystic T5 CC so I can take her up to rank three. I think she's just going to be so much fun at rank three. As you see, this huge dance that Howard and I are doing here, he went through a special forever. It seemed forever in this video sped up four times. Now just imagine how long it took in game. He does it again right here. Uh, he just dances with me forever with the special one. And then I'm baiting and baiting and baiting and nothing is happening. So that was that was a little annoying, but you know, it's just, it's time spent more than anything else. Um, and it was really funny playing this back at uh, four times uh, four times speed with the volume. His animation sounds are horrible. Like it sounds even worse than normal. It seems like, but it was kind of funny. Uh, Corvus's auto attack sounds, sounds pretty funny at four times speed as well. Um, Gwynpool here, I thought I was doing really well and then she just slapped me and then this one was super annoyed. I kind of had like a, um, uh, I think I slow it down to show you, but I had a, um, you know, a, he a zero to hero to zero moment. It's kind of a roller coaster. So she taps me here, I get Bane, quickly get it transferred back over and then on I thought I parried her here so I auto attacked in to take um, the unstoppable off but I didn't parry her so then I take Bane damage again from her and then I some for some reason threw a heavy there slipped up get super low health i'm like okay i might be able to hang on to this just have to make sure the bane transfer is good get back to my special two fire this off and i'm like okay feeling good again get some massive crits get all the way back up feeling good and then i my dash back is so horrible right here at, on the timing she clips me one more time which she's got three percent health uh, or she down to like one percent yeah, 1% after the special one, and then I dash back wrong and die. She had like 1700 HP left. Um, it was just a roller coaster of a, <laughs> a roller coaster of a fight. Uh, I was pretty upset with myself that I uh, gave that one up. There was no reason I should have had to, you know, should have died there. Didn't end up actually using a revive, so it didn't cost me there. Um, that was a failed uh, evade on his SP1, on Warlock's SP1, when it was unblockable. Uh, it hadn't been unblockable most of the time. Um, uh, Corvus is shutting down the tech champ so the is you know ability to go unblockable doesn't happen every time so a couple times that it fired I didn't have to worry about it um, ended up get, cleaning it up right after that Deadpool again not too tough of a fight uh, as long as you have some type of counter to his healing that's what I would recommend and then again I did not heal on this path so I don't know what was the difference between me healing on the other ones and not on this one but um, obviously I heal up here because it's a special three but it's just a little bit um, but anyway Deadpool was the only one that I think caused me zero issues the entire time. Um, so that was kind of nice. And then this Mysterio, I just, again, fought pretty bad. Um, I could have cleaned it up a little bit better. Uh, and so I decided to go in here with Warlock, which is not really a great idea. Um, you know, I just wanted to see how much damage I could get out. I knew I wasn't going to be using Warlock against Spider Ham at all, so I'm like, man, I'm going to have to, I'm going to revive the Corvus anyways, so no big deal. Uh, I'll just get the Warlock in there, do as much damage as I can fire the special two, did as much as I could while he had a special one up, and then I knew I was gonna die immediately. Um, but get back in here, clean it up with Corvus, and then we're gonna jump over here to Spider Ham. So this fight's pretty interesting. Um, you do such a, re a great, uh, greatly reduced damage on your specials. And so I'm only playing this back at two times instead of four times. Um, the goal here was just to get as much damage as I could with my uh, medium light medium combos. I bait the special one, um, and just try to get some, as much, like I said, get to a special two and get as much damage down as I could. Um, cause I knew that I wasn't going to one shot him just because Corvus was already hurt. I knew I needed two cycles of my special, um, special two to even have a chance at it. So just trying to get the damage down. As you notice there, it did 4,000, 4,000 and 14,000. So, you know, not the greatest amount of damage on his special two. Getting one more revive and here's another one for you that I thought was hilarious. Comes in here, starts and immediately switches over and heavy attack and I'm dead. Uh, I just gave you a little Wily e. Coyote animation there because, man, it's a, it felt the exact same. He just smashes me in two seconds. So, um, anyway, we go back in for a, after another Wasted Revive. I was a little bitter, and I was thinking I'm probably going to die to him again just because I was playing bad. But knock him down there. 
Um, anyways, I will get a video uploaded not much further after this with the with the reward opening. Definitely trying to find someone that I can rank to. Um, but after that, guys, I just appreciate it. Thanks for checking it out. And, uh, you know, as they would say in the comics or cartoons, that's all, folks. We'll catch you later. See you in the next one.